Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. So I'm watching a bunch of shows, and uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about some of them. Today, I'm going to talk about Heroes Reborn, which is a uh, continuation of uh, the previously aired Heroes series. went on for four seasons, ended a handful of years ago. Um, Heroes Reborn picks up five years after that show uh, ended. Now, if you watched the original Heroes series, uh, and I'm a big fan of the original Heroes series, uh, loved the first season. It is one of the most comprehensive, coherent, tightly written uh, first seasons of a show uh, I've seen. Uh, they managed to build up momentum slowly. The, the original Heroes is a slow burn. Um, that, that takes you right up to the middle of the season uh, with the whole save the cheerleader, save the world idea, uh, and then takes the second half of the season, uh, stop the exploding man. And they do a fantastic job of keeping that focus and keeping that consistency and keeping that momentum as you learn more and more about all of the main characters. And there were a lot of main characters in uh, the Heroes series. Unfortunately, the second season uh, didn't fare quite as well. It got hit by the writer's strike. Uh, and it didn't even start out as tightly written as the first season did. The uh, focus was supposed to be on heroes and villains and how easy it is to go from one to the other. Um, and how easy it is to be disillusioned when you actually meet your heroes. Uh, it got hit by the writer's strike. That season was kind of a mess. They had some really good ideas. They didn't have uh, enough of them done before the writer's strike hit. They were kind of poorly executed to begin with. Um, did not pick up uh, the momentum well. Did not hold the momentum well. Uh, still got them a third season and, and then a fourth season. Uh, the third and fourth seasons are kind of mixed bags. Uh, there's some really, really good stuff in them, and then there's some stuff that's not so good, and then there was some stuff, especially if you're a comic book fan uh, and familiar with uh, books like the X-Men, uh, X-Factor, uh, stuff like that, that they just basically wholesale lifted plots from without doing any of the background work for, uh, which made stuff feel a little disjointed, a little thrown together, uh, but overall, it's still a decent series. Uh, check it out. It's on Netflix right now. Uh, you can breeze through the, uh, the whole thing in a few weeks, uh, or if you don't sleep, a few days, I guess. Uh, but that was all in the past, and Heroes Reborn picks up five years after the uh, events of the last episode of... Uh, the original series, which is basically a uh, slight spoiler, but not really, uh, which is basically the announcement to all of the world that there are these people with superhuman abilities out there. Uh, stuff hasn't gone that smoothly since then in the world. There's been a lot of uh, pushback about that. There's been a registration act that has been passed. There have been uh, superhumans called Evos, or evolved humans, uh, that have been picked up and swept up off the streets and shipped off to places, uh, usually without their family knowing anything about where they've, uh, where they've gone. Uh, and that's kind of our window into Heroes Reborn. Uh, they did a web series called Heroes Dark Matters that follows um, this, this one uh, character, Quentin Frady, who uh, his sister is one of these uh, Evos that uh, gets disappeared. Uh, and he's been out looking for, uh, for what happened to her. Uh, Heroes Reborn also reintroduces us to some of our uh, friends from the, from the original series. Uh, Jack Coleman is back as our horn-rimmed glasses-wearing uh, friend, Noah Bennett. Uh, there's a few other cameos, at least cameos, that we're going to be seeing uh, as the series goes on. They've already been announced. Uh, haven't seen a lot of them yet, but there have been a couple hinted at pretty strongly already. Uh, the first episode, uh, or two-hour uh, two hour season premiere, uh, was pretty solid. It's not quite the slow burn that the original was, 
Uh, it's got a much more urgent uh, feel to it right off the top. They, there's no huge mystery or big buildup uh, before we get to the idea that there is something really big and really bad that's going to be happening soon. It's already happening as all of these Evos are being uh, swept up and experimented on, perhaps? Who knows? They haven't said yet. But they've hinted at a whole lot of stuff going on. Um, the the uh, new characters with their new powers are uh, kind of interesting. Uh, one of the more interesting choices that, that they seem to have made is they've done sequences that are completely computer-generated as one of the characters can jump into a computer game. Really interesting. Not sure how that's going to continue to play out or how practical that's going to be in the long run. Um, but I'm willing to give it a chance. Uh, definitely willing to give it a chance. The dynamics uh, among the different characters that they've introduced so far uh, seem to be pretty interesting. I can see some interesting points where uh, these characters are going to interact with each other. Uh, they don't, as with the original series, not everyone is all together uh, to begin with. There's people over here and people over here uh, in different parts of the world, and there's going to be a time, inevitably, where they all intersect and uh, pretty much uh, everything blows up uh, with some big action sequence, some big crisis point. Uh, if they pace things properly, that'll be right in the middle of the season, and then the second half of the season, just like in the original uh, show, will be a, an immediate follow-up from the fallout, from whatever it is that they stop or don't stop. Uh, I'll be really impressed if they have some big event that they manage to not be able to stop. We've seen that uh, be really successful in shows like Arrow, where uh, you have the big world-shattering event, or location-shattering event, as the case may be, that the heroes try to stop, but they're not completely successful. That leads to some really better, gritty, uh, more realistic storytelling, because the good guys don't always win, and sometimes uh, it goes really poorly. Now, they, they've got some of that already in place. Uh, one of the existing um, heroes that's come to be in, in the years that passed uh, was a uh, guy in uh, Los Angeles uh, who was wearing a luchadora mask uh, helping people out on the streets of South Central L.A. Uh, that character, or, or that guy, uh, has kind of a rough time of it in, in the uh, first episode, and I won't spoil this, but it takes a uh, very realistic turn. Uh, and then what comes after that is so much better than what would have happened if it was classic four-color comic book stuff. Uh, just the ability to know that these people can be hurt, they can lose. You never know uh, if they're going to be successful. And I think that is a fantastic step forward in heroic storytelling. Because if there's nothing at risk, there's no heroics about it. That You can't be a hero if you know you're not going to uh, lose. So hopefully they'll, uh, they'll stick with that. Uh, definitely check this one out. Uh, again, I'm a big fan, so I may be slightly biased. Uh, but the new uh, new cast seems pretty solid. The writing seems pretty solid. Uh, I'm looking forward to where they're going to go with all of this. Uh, they've got some big intrigue left over from the original series that they can uh, tie back in. Looks like they already are. Uh, so check it out. Uh, and if you have seen it, uh, if you're a fan of the original show, if you've watched the pilot episode of Heroes Reborn, uh, comment down below. Uh, we'll have a little discussion about it. Uh, that's it for uh, for me today. So, if you like what you see here, hit the little thumbs up button uh, underneath the video. If 
uh, you want to be notified when new ones of these come out, uh, hit the subscribe button and then hit the gear uh, that pops up after you subscribe and set the email notification so YouTube will send you an email message when a new one of these goes up. Uh, and if there's anyone out there that you think would be interested in uh, coming along on this trip and uh, talking about these TV shows or any of the other stuff that I'll be talking about, share this with them. Send it out there into the world. Uh, like I said, that's it for today. Uh, I'm Kier, and I guess I'll see you tomorrow.